Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use static resources in .NET MAUI. I built an app that I'm going to color um, using the Pittsburgh Pirate colors, um, but instead of hard coding the colors, I'm going to put the colors into the colors.xaml documents. So, let's take a look at what I built. Here is my running app. It's a pitch counter. When I'm done with the series of videos, it will work. But for now, it's just eye candy. Uh, as you can see in the code behind here, um, I've hard coded the frame, I've hard coded the background of the page. And if we take a look at my styles documents, I've hard coded my labels, I've hard coded my button as well. Um, there's nothing really wrong with that, per se. Um, just that it's harder to change these magic values here that if you want to change colors or if the team updates their colors, which they often do, you'd have to go and find each one of these. So instead we're going to, you know, put the colors into a document and then use the static resources here. So I'm going to open up, under resources, I'm going to open up colors.xaml. And you see there's a lot of colors already here. Um, what they're set up is they have to have a color, a key, a name, and a value. Now, this one only has colors. If you take a look at styles, which we saw, there's also, of course, you know, setters. You can use strings in here as well. So if you wanted to create text document or text that you use throughout your document, you can use it here as well. So I'm going to add two of my own. I like to comment when I make a change. So I'm going to call this Pirate Yellow for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I am, of course, a Pittsburgh native, so I kind of follow the Pirates. And Pittsburgh Yellow is... Hashtag... FDB827. And likewise, I'm going to do Pirate Black. And pirate black is not black, it's kind of a really dark gray. 2725LF. 27251F. Okay, so I've got my colors set in there. I need to give a big shout out here to my friends here at teamcolorcodes.com. I've been using their website for years. Um, some free advertising for them. Obviously, uh, the colors that are up here. If you want to know more about how they work, go to teamcolorcodes.com and they'll tell you how they get their colors. All right, so I have my codes. Let's go use them. So I'm going to go to my main page, XAML, and I'm going to start by replacing the hard coded colors here. And to do so, we're going to use what's called a static resource. Static resource meaning it doesn't change. So I'm going to do a curly rate. Oops. I'm in the wrong place. I'm going to put in a curly brace. I'm going to have the word static resource. And then I'm going to give it the name. So my frame will be black. I'm sorry, my app will be black. My frame will be yellow. My label will be also yellow. And the text color of this will be pirate black. Let's see if my app changes. It does not, so I did something correct. If I'd done something wrong, like I accidentally put yellow here,
you see it doesn't work. So hot reload's working. Okay, so I let's set up here static resource in the name, and you put the name in styles or colors. You can also put them if you want a different location. You can also put them here into abs ammo. You'll see that they're loaded in here. I can add entries right here. And I could have like a string document or a color document there. Alright, so now I'm going to use these static resources in my styles. I'm going to fire up a notepad document here real fast so I don't have to keep copying and pasting these. If you're old like me, you remember coding in Notepad. And you also, if you're old like me, you remember drinking a lot because coding in Notepad was not fun. But I'll tell you what, it made you a good programmer because nothing was color coded under that fun stuff we have now. All right, so I'm going to open up my styles. And I'm going to go through and find all of my yellows. So I know here I need pirate yellow. I probably could search and replace this globally. That actually would make sense. I'm just do it manually. So on through here's part yellow again. Now static resource you use when they don't change, hence the word static. Um, there's a cousin to this called dynamic resource, which I'll show you in a different video. That one takes a little more work. Not much, but a little more work. I think that's all of them. Let's see if my apps change any. The app still works. All right, so. The beautiful thing about creating this in the colors file, of course, is when the boss changes and he now set a pirate yellow, he wants to use pirate, I don't know, red. Right. As soon as I make that change, my app updates. So it saves you the hassle of going through your document and finding all of the individual colors you've added in there. Awesome. Alright, so thanks for watching. I've demonstrated how to build um, a couple of static colors and then use those in both the styles document and in your XAML pages. Thanks, good luck.